Hi guys, this is Bhavan Shankar. In previous sessions, I explained about company, company code and business area. And now this session I will cover about functional area and credit control area. These are the configurations which we done in earlier sessions. And these three configurations we will do in the current session. At quick recap, at group level we will call as company. And subsidiaries level we will call as company codes. And branch levels we will call as business area. Now functional area. Now the question is what is functional area? So classifies the expenses of an organization by functions such as administration, sales and distribution, production, marketing, R&D, finance. In general terminology, in general business terminology, all these we will call as departments. Whereas in SAP terminology, we will call these as functional areas. Functional areas are used to create profit and loss statements using the cost of sales accounting and they are also used to analyze the cost of sales accounting. For this, you need to activate the cost of sales accounting. So we have to activate the cost of sales accounting. The activation we will do in further sessions. First, let me explain about the configuration part. Configuration of functional area, defined functional area. The transaction code is FM underscore function. Let's move on to the configuration part. FM underscore function. It will allow you around 17 digits. You can take as per your convenience 6 digits. I will take uh, 6 digits TGPROD. I am creating a production department. So production function area TGPROD. Then this is for creation and this is for edit and this is for overview. Now I am going to create. Initially if you find this all fields are grayed out. Now create functional area. Functional area text TG production. Now it will ask for validity. Valid from to. Now the question is what is the validity period? Why it is asking validity period? For example production department. It, for this no need for validity. Because it, it runs long period. Why? Because sometimes some contract departments also will join to the company. They will work for only for few time, only for some part time. That's why we need to give validity period from and to. In this case, this is a production department and this is this will run for long period. So valid from I will give uh, 0101. Two thousand twenty four two. I will give you a long period. Thirty first nine 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 nine. Expiration date. I will give the same. Thirty first nine 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 nine. That's it. Save it. Functional area. TG production has been saved. Similarly, you can give n number of departments as you like. Similarly, I will create one more functional area. I will create for uh, one contract department uh, which will works for a small period. Okay, I will take uh, TG, uh, sorry, TG contract contract. Otherwise, the TG con one example then go for creation create functional area this functional area is tg contract contract one now see the valid from 0 1 1 2024 assume this will work uh, till this year end take 31st 12 2024 so expiration date also same 31st 12 2024 then saved data was functional area tz con1 has been changed has been saved so standard department take a longer date whereas contract department take specific date till which it functions. 
Credit Control Area Credit Control Area is an organizational unit that specifies and checks a credit limit for customers. In another way, it controls the credit sales to the customers. Business or Client Business means nothing but Client. Client will specify the credit limit. That value we need to configure in the system. So client will say, for example, client uh, will say maybe 10, 10 lakhs, example, 10 lakhs is the credit limit for entire my customers. Then we have to configure it 10 lakhs like this. A credit control area can include one or more company codes, but it is not possible to assign a company code to more than one credit control area. We can observe from the picture. We have two credit control areas here, credit control area CCA1, CCA2. And we have three company codes TG10, TG20, TG30. Um, CCA1, this credit control area is assigned to two company codes TG10, TG20. This CCA, this credit control area includes these two company codes. And CCA2, this credit control area includes TG30. But you cannot assign, you cannot assign this TG10, this company code to both credit control areas. That's what. Finance consultant will configure the credit limit at company code level, whereas SD consultant will configure the credit limit at customer level. So whatever we are configuring uh, the value in this credit control area is at a company code level, means for the entire uh, company at company code level. So SD people again will bifurcate this in SD module as per the customer specific level. To configuration part. Define credit control area. The transaction code is OB45. Either you can use transaction code or you can use path. Tools, customizing, IMG, SPRO, SAP reference IMG, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, define credit control area. Take new entries, credit control area, 4 digit alphanumeric, as per your wish, I am taking TCCA, currency, INR, this is SD portion, and the credit limit, I will take a longer limit, 9999, nine, 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 if you want to include for all all company codes, you can just click it. This is for uh, SD portion. If you see this, no update from SD document or triple zero one two. This is uh, standard you can take at the time of billing. You can take this, then save it. See, so many customizations are there. Take your own customization. Take your own customization. This one continue. Data was saved. Now assignment. Now assignment. Go for assignment. Financial accounting. Assign company code to credit control area. Double click it. It will take you this screen. Go to position. Take your company code. TZ10. And it will show you. Then you have to assign here. Your credit control area. T. CCA. Enter. And save. Again, go for your customization. Continue. Data was saved. 